Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Now last week I did make a video on that company, My Perfect Eyes or My Perfect Cosmetics and um, I had made a couple of videos about My Perfect Eyes before and uh, the last time they have actually used my video which I was very pleased about. Now I did not get any free products from them, uh, absolutely nothing, they just said can we use it? I said yes of course. So. Um, a few of the girls in my work actually have purchased my perfect eyes, well they've sent away for it and um, they were asking me, Sharon, how would I use it, uh, what about makeup etc. So I thought to myself, how many other people do not know how to use this product using creams, um, serums and makeup etc. Uh, the do's and the don'ts when you actually use this product. Now I'm going to actually show you how to use it, uh, I will do one of one of my faces, well maybe that's true. I will do half my face with um, the correct way using my perfect eyes and the other side, how an awful lot of people may think they can use it um, on the other side, which will be the wrong side. So without further ado, we will give the bottle a good shake. Now I have been shaking this before I made the video because it does need a good shake. When you shook it up, you take, it's, it's on a little paddle, you would actually take it and put it on to the back of your hand like so. You, the thing with my perfect eyes is less is definitely more. Now if you were to take this and rub it in, if you feel it grainy in any way, put the lid back on, wipe that off your hand, put the lid back on and give it another good shake. So here we go, you can see my eyes now, can't you? They are in a bad way. So you would just start in the inner corner and swipe out. So you're swiping out. Now, after you've swiped out, don't just leave it at that. That's a mistake I used to make. Feather it down. Feather that down or you will end up with that um, white frosting where you've just stopped and you haven't feathered it down. So I'm going to take another wee bit actually because this stuff does dry in exceptionally fast. So another wee shake, no harm. And I will try it on the other eye. Just put another bit on the back of my hand here. Like I said, lace is more with this stuff. Corner of the eye and swipe out and up to those crow's feet. And then feather that down. So you don't get that, like I said, frosting. Now with the help of a fan, this will take 60 seconds. Without the, I'm actually going to put a wee bit up here. We'll see if it actually helps these elevens as well. I know it does, but mines are getting very deep, so we'll see. And again, further that out. This one I'm particularly interested in because it's on that the side of my face that's the, the the correct way to apply it. This is obviously the wrong way to apply it. Now you wait 60 seconds with the help of a fan. Um, when you put it on, try not to make any facial expressions, just uh, it's only a minute of your time. So I'm not one to make this video as long as I've made some of my other ones, so I will get back to you in, as soon as it's dried. Now I can actually start, I can feel it tightening just now, so I'll get right straight, straight back to you. Okay guys, that's it, it's dry now and I think you can see that all the wrinkles have gone. Or my troublesome areas have gone from underneath my eyes. Um, so that's basically it for my perfect eyes, how to apply it. Does it work? Yes, it does. I told you that before. Also in my last video, I told you before, your under eye area does feel very dry. So I'm definitely not going to um, say anything more about that. It does feel dry. Now, I'm going to try and zoom you back in here. There we go. Now, about application for moisturizers and serums obviously um, my perfect eyes creates a veil across the the under eye area which takes it tightens and it takes away all your wrinkles etc now what's it actually made out of it's magnesium there is water in it believe it or not and sodium what's the name sodium uh, silicate so i've never actually heard of sodium silicate before but that's what's in it uh, so anyway how to apply it now normally i like to apply my moisturizer obviously my serums first so here's my hyaluronic acid now with your hyaluronic acid i, I actually took it off that because 
it started to frost and it looked absolutely hideous so it's gone from there so i'm using my hyaluronic acid on my forehead not on my crow's feet and i'm taking it on my chin my lip area and see to your cheekbones here i'm only taking it to there because i do not like i said do not want to break that webbing just put a little ah because it was a very small bit i used there so and of course my neck so I'm avoiding this area. So that's me. Now what else do I like to, to use? I like my, this is my retinol serum, which I love. So I'm going to use a wee bit of that too. Now you will use all your moist, your serums rather, the exact same way as you normally use them, except you're avoiding that under eye area. And if you try to get rid of your crow's feet, that area so, so just bring them just to here where you've actually treated that area so everywhere except there the normal so that's I keep waiting everything down to my elbows because you know something waste not what not as they say now when it comes to moisturizers um, I'm just using this little moisturizer and again it's exactly the same now nothing is altering with any of them. You're only avoiding the affected, the affected, the uh, area that you have treated, the treated area, not the affected area. Goodness me, you can see that I never took my doctorhood. <laughs> so anyway, I have put far too much on this because this stuff goes a long way. So you know what to do, rub it in your arms. Oh, this is this stuff actually a little goes a long way with this in. What one is this again? This is the Sukin, yeah. That's that one. This was inspired. Well, the actual product wasn't inspired by uh, a friend, but using cruelty free was inspired by my friend Rachel, and, uh, and I'm loving it to be honest with you. So that's me all done. So I'll have to, well, basically I just want to just let that moisturiser settle in because it is quite tacky and I want to make this video as short as possible because it seems to be dragging on. So I'll get back to you two minutes when it dries in. Right guys, this is called Mineral Magic. It is a mineral powder. So for this half of my face, I'm going to be using mineral powders. For this half of my face, I'm going to be using ordinary makeup, etc. and eye creams. So I'll be doing this the correct way. A little bit of Mineral Magic. Now Mineral Magic has colour correctors in it. So I'm actually just going to very gently, should have done that better, very gently go across, you think there was a fire here, very gently go across the eye because you don't want to break that webbing. Now maybe that colour collect corrector may help any colour underneath my eye because I'm actually not going to use this all over my face. So I'm just going to use this. Yeah. Now, um, what else? Uh, I'm also going to be using just a bronzer. Now this again is a mineral powder. So I will be just bronzing my face. Now, believe you me, you have done all the right things when you've applied your makeup. Your makeup, when you've applied your um, moisturizers, again, very gently under this eye area. Now you can use a primer with this if you if you so desire but with the primer I'm using the wrong brush here that's a terrible brush to be using with the primer just remember one thing the same as all your moisturizers and uh, serums avoid that under eye area now I know for a lot of people this may not be the coverage that they're, they're looking for they but you know, if you're using your own makeup, etc., it may go on a bit better. Now, so, now you can basically, if you have, if you want, what one will I use? I think I'll use this one. It seems to be more my colour. So if you want to use something on your eyelids, 
before you add your eye makeup. Of course you can. Of course you can. Even if you want to use them. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but even if you want to use it somewhere, you know, where you can seal anywhere except that under eye area, do anything with you, your makeup except for that under eye area where you have to be so careful. Now, what happens, let, let's get back to um, what happens if you just bear with me an eye cream. Where am I? Here we are. I have an eye cream here. So, if you were doing it the wrong way, put on your eye cream. With this video isn't half going on i'm really really sorry i do get carried away no wonder nobody watches my videos so anyway that's me with my eye cream now what about my uh very bit of concealer under here because do you put on makeup do you know i'm rubbish putting on makeup i put on this first you can tell that i don't wear makeup can't you i'm absolutely rubbish but anyway maybe i should start make myself a bit better let me Yep, that's my colour, exactly. So you're putting on all your makeup, eye creams, etc. Yep. If anybody's looking for a somebody to come and do the makeup, avoid me at all costs. Obviously I'm not any good. This is only how you shouldn't be using any of these products on your um on your uh, My Perfect Eyes. Now, what is it the day here? It's like a wee triangle, isn't it? I think I've seen them doing. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's perfect, yeah. And then they're blending it in. I've seen it on the telly. As you can see, I'm absolutely no good at it, but I've seen it on the... Oh, my God. This video is a double whammy. How to wear makeup badly. And my perfect eyes. There you go. Mmm. That's me looking like a dragon. Oh my. Like I said, you can still use it under here. I, I, you know, I have to make this video again because it's absolute crap. So that's me. Yep. Looking fabulous. But now, the moral to this story is you can use your serums. You can use your moisturisers, just avoid this area. Eye um, creams, no. As you can already see, and even though I was just having a bit of fun there, as you can already see when I use the mineral powder, my eyes are still the same. Will I zoom you in, a wee bit of you here? And the minute I started wearing anything, I well, I didn't wear any eye creams, but... Um, when, as soon as you start putting anything on that's not mineral powder, mineral powder is better, believe you me. You can already see that that barrier has broken down. Now, if you're going to pay your money, wear a bit of mineral. Um, I know your eyes might feel dry and tight, but, uh, you know, for your special case and you want to look your best. So anyway, guys, that's the video over. Two cages, sorry about that. But uh, I just wanted to see the outcome. Can you spot the difference? I think you can. Take care, guys. Bye.